So this is the part two of the video that we're making, or we're recording actually, um, regarding this mechatronic unit. So this is the slate that I was talking about. Um, this is a little notch that can actually determine the position of this thing. You see right there inside. I'm gonna pinpoint it with the screwdriver. This guy right here. So this one sets the position of this little guy in here right so this is how it looks before you remove it so this is what I want to pinpoint right now at this part of the video so as you can see right now it's locked all right so this is what it needs to be done you see right there this is a little tab that you have to push in pull down until you hear that click once you hear that click that means this thing it's on lock okay I'm gonna do it one more time so it's like this right now, okay? The middle uh, tabs are in there holding this guy, all right? So what you wanna do is that you, you wanna hold this thing down, the little tab, and then pull, pull it down. As you can see, this thing is releasing the, the slate from the, its position. So once you hear that click, that means you're good to go. And you'll be able to get this guy off all right now here's the tricky part as you guys can see sometimes this thing can be very difficult to just know when you're actually pushing them all the way in so there's like a little tabs here that allow this thing to push those tabs um, in so let's see let's see see now it's all the way in and then if you're not be able to push this thing in that's where I was talking about earlier about another video that sometimes this thing it's a challenge to push it in so what you want to do it's probably just before you put this this thing back the mechatronics in place before you do that you probably want to do what I was saying earlier to release the tabs you know before so right here there's like a little plastic um how can i say it it's like a plastic uh pin that holds this thing down while you're you know pull this thing down so it can stay in place so you just want to defeat that by going over it a little bit just enough so this thing can travel easily so you guys don't have difficulties to push it up okay so that's why when you hear that click that means it locked okay okay so the right way to do this is supposed to be to insert this thing and so this thing allow those tabs to push the lock in but sometimes it's not possible <laughs> and you just don't want to struggle to once you have this thing torqued in place and ready to go with you know to deal with this kind of things so you're supposed to just push it in and then this is supposed to release this metal this metal lock but as you guys can see it's not doing it even though it's all the way in it doesn't do that wow what a tricky thing so um, keep watching the following video so you can see more about this situation that I'm facing today um, probably in the next video I'm gonna be working already on the transmission so let me give you a heads up so according to the information that we found there is 11 uh, bolts actually I'm sorry actually 13 bolts we found some information from CF there is a target specification and uh, you know I don't know if this is actually good to show you guys but here is some heads up so there is 10 10 bolts on the main plate and then there's three bolts on the plastic plate so you guys there's three short ones and then 10 long ones okay so the, here's the torque sequence and so this is the specification 8 newtons plus minus 0.8 newton meter so which will be like around nine nine pounds i would say probably 10 i will check that later on and i will confirm that with you guys so well 
we, 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 we see this information, but there's nothing really that tells you how to unlock the, the pin on this thing. Because of that, that's why we decided to do this kind of video. Um, one other thing that I want to mention is that the parking lock thingy that goes in here. That's another tricky part that probably requires two persons to, you know, to do this, the, to put it back in place. So the lock goes in here and then you have to hold that thing. This one. So you want to like kind of like pull it towards the back of the car so this thing can slide into the um, mechatronics or the bow body thingy so this is uh, the design all right so thanks for watching